When I first found out that I was diagnosed with breast cancer was in March of 2000. I had a lot of support from my church group, friends, and family that would, uh, you know, we just talked and I would go to different support groups. And after my treatment, um, I had one friend that after each treatment, we would go out to um, buffet and we would eat until we just couldn't eat anymore because after the treatment, I couldn't taste the food. You kind of have to know your own body and it's important to do the self breast exams because I found my lump myself. So don't wait before you go have your first mammogram. You start seeing a lot of people do different things with the lining of their jacket on draft night. And, uh, for me, it was, it was mostly about her. And um, you know, I really dedicated that, that night to her. Um, you know, my parents have always been on me since the day I was born, since I started playing any type of sport. And um, you know, that was the least I could do for her on draft night. For those, you know, not only breast cancer, any type of cancer, any form of sickness, it's just keep fighting, you know. Like she said, she had her church group, uh, family and friends that always supported. And, you know, you see a lot when people, you know, come down with that, with that type of disease, they always get the support, you know, not only from people that they know, but from people that they don't know. Uh, you know, people hear about a story and all they want to do is help and support someone. So for them, you know, it's just keep fighting and, uh, and you just always lean on your, on your supporting cast.